final home game of the season as we take on Manchester City. Yes, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, today, this is the match day preview for Tottenham versus Manchester City tonight at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is the last home game of the season. It's the penultimate game of the season for us and for Manchester City. And yeah, should be a very good game. It's a big game for both teams. We need to win. Um, to keep up with Villa in the top four race. City need to win to keep up with Arsenal in the title race. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, then, so what is the form coming into tonight's game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? So, let's start with Manchester City. So, Man City, they have a win, 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 and a draw. Man City, their last game was a 4-0 win against Fulham. For Tottenham, we have a win Loss, 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 loss and a win. Our last game was a 2-1 win against Burnley. Okay then, what's my score prediction for tonight's game against Manchester City? Now, I mean, you're probably asking the questions already. Who do I generally want to win this game tonight? Now, if you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, Arsenal are our rivals. Arsenal beat Manchester United 1-0 on Sunday. They are top of the Premier League. This game could generally decide the title. If we beat Manchester City tonight, Arsenal will be favourites going into the final day of the season, which is this Sunday, to win the title. If Manchester City win tonight, they will go into the final day of the season as favourites to lift the Premier League title, I think, for the fourth year, fifth or fourth year in a row. And obviously, for us Tottenham fans, obviously, it's just a bit of a weird situation. Because obviously, consider, because obviously, Aston Villa drew with Liverpool last night. So, if we, we still have a chance of finishing fourth, if we beat Man City tonight, we need to beat Sheffield United on the final day. And we need Palace to beat Villa. So, but if we win our next two games and Villa lose to Palace, we will be playing in the Champions League next season but i mean to be honest it's basically like it's like picking a button it's like the red button is you you qualify for the champions league but ask to win the league and then you got the blue button being you, you don't qualify for the champions league but arsenal don't win the league that is literally the situation that all of us tottenham fans are in at the moment the question is do we want to win tonight and then watch Arsenal go on and win the league or do we want to bottle Champions League and want and go on and let and watch Man City lift the Premier League title on Sunday? I mean look, obviously, to be honest, I think as a Spurs fan, I think I would rather be in the Europa League because look, for me, I just think we would get battered in the Champions League, to be honest. If you look at all the teams next season, you've got Real Madrid are going to have Mbappe and all that. And then you've got all these good teams, uh, Bayern, PSG and all that. I just think we would get absolutely annihilated in the Champions League. And for me, I think the Europa League is a more realistic trophy that we could win next season. So, obviously, I do... Well, I'm going to say it now. I would like... Manchester City to beat us tonight. That does not mean I'm going to support City tonight. That does not mean I'm going to cheer when City score. I would like City to beat us. But, I mean, if we win, great. Then we'd have a chance again in the Champions League. But then, obviously, we'd be quite annoying at the same time because that means Arsenal going to the final day as favourites to win the title. But, I mean... But yeah, anyway, I'm just going to get off that topic now. I mean, my prediction for the game, I mean, obviously, Arsenal fans will be absolutely begging for us to win tonight. I mean, most of our most of our fans will be wanting us to lose tonight. I mean, I, to be honest, like I said, I would like us to lose because there is not a chance I want Arsenal to win the Premier League. Not a chance. Not a chance. So, I would, like I just said... I would like Man City to beat us tonight. But obviously, I will still be supporting Spurs because Spurs is my team. But yeah, prediction, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to get straight forward. I do think City will beat us. I just think they're too... I think that's going to be... I just For me, I think maybe, I don't know if maybe Nuno was the manager, Conte was the manager. 
we're sitting back, we're making it difficult. Maybe we could go out there and win the game. But the way Ang likes to play, we have to play that high line, attacking football. City are just, they're just going to cook our defence, in my opinion. I think City are going to win. So my prediction, I'm going to go Spurs 1, Man City 3. OK then, so what are the players to look out for? So for Manchester City, I've picked out Bernardo Silva and Josco Gvardiol. Now for me, I mean, Gvardiol obviously scored two goals on Saturday against Fulham. And overall, looks like he had a very, very good game from what I saw I'm looking at stats and highlights and stuff. And to be fair, it's the complete same with Bernardo Silva. He had a very good game on the weekend. And, uh, I mean, overall, he's a decent little player. You know, he makes it difficult for full-backs to defend against. So, yeah. And for Tottenham, I've picked out Christian Romero and Mickey van der Ven. To be honest, I thought the back line against Burnley on Saturday played very, very well. And in particular, I thought the two centre-backs, Romero and van der Ven, had a good game. So, uh, yeah. OK, then, so why is my predictive lineup then? Take on Man City tonight. So, in goal, we're going to go with Ange Poston. No, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, this is obviously realistic, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Vicario in goal. Um, obviously, that's just quite obvious, isn't it? Back four, I've gone with Pedro Porro, Christian Romero, 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 Romero Radu Dragashin, and Mickey van der Ven. I mean, City, I mean, look at that. They've got some of the best players in the world on their team. They've got great attack. Haaland, Foden, all that lot. I mean... I think we need our best defence out tonight. I mean, Emerson Real, I don't... I don't... I mean, to be honest, if he does start, that'd be kind of great in a sense because, obviously, I think, like I said, the majority of the Spurs fans want us to lose tonight. But, if we... I mean, for the... If we... Obviously, we want to go out and win the game, obviously. Obviously, because we want to play in the Champions League next season. I mean, I would... I have said this um, back four before in the predicted lineup in the match day preview video. Sorry, sorry. For me, I, just, I, I would like Van der Ven to play at left-back. I, I think Dragashin came on and played at left-back on Saturday. But I would rather Van der Ven. He's very fast and all that. I mean, and Dragashin is mainly more of a centre-back than a full-back. So, yeah. Um, defensive midfield have gone with Bentan Court and Saar. Um, Basuma is apparently out for the season. That's, that's another player um, out for the season now. So, obviously, Bentan Court would have to step in alongside... With Saar and then attacking midfield, they've gone with Brennan Johnson, Madison, and Kulisevsky. Obviously, Richarlison also out for the season. I mean, yeah, so I would go with that attack. And then also, I've gone with Sonny up front. He always loves the goal against Man City. He'll probably score tonight. So, uh, yeah. So then, pretty line up then, just to remind you, like, even though it's on the screen, we've got Vicario, Porro, Romero, Dragashin, Van der Ven, Benton Court, Saar, Johnson, Madison. Kulisevsky and so on. Thank you for watching and yeah, see you next video.